Bible is there. Bible is there. Let me do you know that in your Bible? God said, no, no, listen to me. Why do you, why do you worship Jesus? The gentleman has asked me, no, no, no. Why, why do I worship Jesus? Why do I worship Jesus? I worship Jesus because Jesus is God. And the New Testament testifies that Jesus is God. Any single Bible why Jesus said he's God or was he become a Christian? Which Bible are you talking about? Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. You remind me. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Which Bible? Yeah, you're right. Which Bible is that? Yeah, Show me if I see the Bible. As well. In chapter 1, verse 1 in the of St. John's Gospel, it in the says, was the word. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. And the Word was God. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> Thus we worship Christ, yes. who is the Word. No, no, no. You know why? You know what? Listen to me. No, we don't. No, no, no. no. Wait, wait, wait. The Muslim position. The only reason. I tell you. The only reason Christ. not to worship I'll Christ you, as I God know. is if Islam is true. Jesus but I've shown in that Islam is a Jesus false be sure religion Matthew, because there's no the historical Lord, basis for Islam. Jesus said, worship the Almighty God and serve only Do you believe in that? Jesus, 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 Jesus says, worship God. Jesus is God. Thus we worship Jesus. He said, what's it What's it for? What did Thomas say? Thomas looked at Jesus and he said, My Lord, Lord and my God! The Lord of me and the God of me! Jesus never said what's it be. Almighty God, the Old Testament, he's the only one God. You know, God said the Bible says, At the end, the first and the last. He says, Jesus is coming back. And then he said, Jesus was fully God, fully back. But it's not in the Bible. I am the first and the last. Yeah, you have to wait. You have to wait for Sunderland, years. Newcastle to ever win anything. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing. Look, Almighty God in the Bible, Old Testament, says several verses. Why did God Old Testament? I want to know what God, what does God say about Him? Said the Old Testament. He's not God there. God is saying He's only Savior. Several verses. That is not the Old Testament. Okay. He's dead. He's not a man. Jesus Christ in the first chapter of the Book of Revelation. Come on, tell me. Chapter seven. Chapter 1, verse 17. Fear not, I am the first and the last. Wow. Yeah. Who is that? that? But God Himself. Look, yeah, Jesus Christ says this. Guess what? What are you talking about? Of Himself. Look, look, wait, wait, wait. John 17. Jesus wait, 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 calls wait, wait, Himself wait, 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 God. Wait, 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 wait. John 17, 3. Jesus said, What did Jesus say? John 17, 3. Jesus said, And this is eternal life. They might not. You are the only true God. What else does Jesus no, no, wait, wait, say? Wait, wait, wait. Who in chapter true, 1, no, who is the only true God? verse 8, who is the only true God? I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is, who was, and who is to come, the Almighty. And on he goes, on he goes then, and I say, I am the first and the last. I am the living. I am the living one. I died, no, no, and no, behold, no, I am no, alive no, no, forevermore. No, 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 Amen. You didn't finish it. He was dead. You are alive. You are alive. God said, "Besides me, there is no savior. Besides me, there is no God." Why did you call that? John 17:3. If in the Book of Revelation, Jesus calls himself God, that is simple. Answers. The Almighty God is the only true God. So it is Jesus is God, true God. True God. No! Who's on the right? You're not right. Who's on the right? How many you got in your family? Have you got a father? Have you got a mother? Have you got a son? The father sent the son to be the savior of the world. What What did he say? What did he say? What did he say on the cross? What did he say on the cross? Not my will, but your will. Not my will, but your will. Thank you, sister. When he went on the cross, yes. my father, why have you forsaken No, he never said yes, my father. He said my yes, God, my God. It's my God, my God. Why? Yes, he's, he's, he's forsaking for my sin. Your sin, her sin. I was once blind, but now I can see. What do you say? I'm also not twisting the whole thing, brother. What do you say? Listen, it's a father. What do you see? What do you see? Do you see redemption? Do you see redemption? Do you see glory? All right, yet again, in the book of Revelation, we have chapter 22, 
Chapter 22, verse 12, Jesus speaks, Behold, I'm coming soon, bringing my recompense to repay everyone for what he has done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. This is Jesus Christ speaking. He is testifying that he is God Almighty in sacred scripture. There is nobody who is the Alpha and the Omega except God himself. He wouldn't have said okay, so. What, what, what now, my dear. What, what did Jesus God, say? Why didn't he take himself from the cross? Do you know what the Holy why Trinity is? Do you know what the Holy shed? Trinity is? Let me give. Let me give a lesson. Madam. Madam. Answer the question. The lady is quoting from Calvin. Calvin, calm down. Calm down. When he said, calm down. Wait. 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 You've been talking a lot. Now, the lady has said, How could he be God? He speaks to God. Let me explain the dogma of the Holy Trinity as defined by the Holy Catholic and Roman Church. Let me explain. The dogma is this. There is one God, the divine essence. The divine essence. The divine essence is possessed wholly and entirely by three persons. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. These are three ways. Ways. These are three distinct persons. The person of the Father is distinct from the Son. And I will show you, I will show you in the Bible. The Bible now. The Bible. Show these three persons, essences. Tell me. Apart from the first episode of John 5 7, for that to that bear according to heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one, nowhere in the Bible. Point number three, he says something that's not here. It's your church fathers. You see, they lie. They come up with this nonsense. It's not the Bible. So it's the Bible. Yes. These three passages, source. There are, very, there are various Old Testament passages. Yes, I'll give you one that I've got it to mind immediately. Okay. When Abraham in Genesis 18 is at the Oaks of Mamre, the Oaks of Mamre, you'll know it's Abraham, Genesis 18. Three men come to Abraham. One is the Lord God, and the Abraham prepares food for them, and they eat. The Lord God remains with Abraham. Two of the other men, two men, go off to Sodom. Okay? Now, the Lord God is actually then, he rains down fire from the God in heaven. It says in Genesis 19, verse 24, then the Lord, who's here, rained on Sodom and Gomorrah, brimstone and fire, from the Lord out of heaven. The Lord rained fire and brimstone from the Lord. There's two Lords spoken of here. Hold on, hold on. You're not making sense. There's two Yahwehs here. Here. Explain Genesis. Listen, no man can see God's face. That's a separate point. I don't mind you saying about that. We're saying here, how do we have this? No, no, no. So no Jesus man can did. look upon God. So how can we say Jesus is okay. God? Wait a minute. Your question was... I've explained... We'll come to this. We shall come to that. First, we have God on earth raining fire from God in heaven. In Genesis. He could not look on God's face and 